to call to the Honourable the Deputy Leader of the Opposition. My question is to the Prime Minister and concerns his divisive and incompetently managed referendum. Order. <laughs> Members on my right. The Deputy Leader of the Opposition has the call and will start her question again and will be heard in silence. My question is to the Prime Minister and concerns his divisive and incompetently managed referendum. Why did the Prime Minister, in the words of the member for MacArthur, focus on, quote, inner city elites? Why did he refuse to hold a constitutional convention? Why did he make no effort to achieve bipartisanship? Why did he waste $450 million Order. of taxpayers' money? Order. Mr. Members Speaker. on my right, the member for Cooper is warned. Order. Members on my right, I can't hear the question. You mightn't like what the question is, but I've got to hear it. And the Deputy Leader of the Opposition will now be heard in silence again. If there is one interjection, people will leave the chamber. The Deputy Leader of the Opposition, out of courtesy, will have her question read again. My question is to the Prime Minister and concerns his divisive and incompetently managed referendum. Why did the Prime Minister, in the words of the member for MacArthur, focus on, quote, inner city elites? Why did he refuse to hold a constitutional convention? Why did he make no effort to achieve bipartisanship? Why did he waste $450 million of taxpayers' money? And why did he proceed when it was clear his vanity project was going so disastrously wrong? The order. The Prime Minister has the call. I thank the Deputy Leader of the Opposition uh, for her rhetoric. <laughs> the, order. The, the member for O'Connor. Let's be very clear uh, here about what occurred. There was a constitutional convention. Order. There was one established under the former government in 2017. After a process that the former government established, established under Tony Abbott, when he established a process, a working group who were charged with coming back to the Australian people about what form constitutional recognition should take. That was after uh, John Howard, of course, and every other leader since uh, promised to promote constitutional recognition. Now, in 2017... Order. The Prime Minister will pause. The member for O'Connor, I've mentioned a number of times, the Deputy of the Leader of the Opposition was held in, heard in silence. I'm asking the same courtesy to be given to the Prime Minister. You'll leave the chamber under 94A. It's pretty simple. Prime Minister will have the call and be heard in silence. Thanks, Mr Speaker. After a process in 2017, First Nations people, through the Uluru Statement from the Heart, those eloquent 440 words, issued an invitation to Australians to walk with them on the form of recognition they sought, which was recognition through a voice. There were then processes established, including under the former government, the Karma Langton Report and other processes, the Joint Committee chaired by Patrick Dodson and Julian Lisa to progress uh, this issue. Uh, I said before the election on a range of occasions, as did both leaders, Scott Morrison and Bill Shorten prior to 2019, that there would be advance on these issues. Uh, I was at Gama when the Minister for Indigenous Affairs, Ken Wyatt, said that there would be a referendum held. I was there in 2019. And what occurred? What occurred was that uh, I fulfilled uh, that commitment that I made. This wasn't out of convenience. Member for Bowman. It was out of conviction. Because I believe that when you make a commitment, including a commitment to Indigenous people, that it should be fulfilled. Yeah. And I make this point, that across uh, remote areas where, uh, areas where uh, dominated by Indigenous communities, yes, recorded massive support. Yeah. 
What Air 92 per cent, Tiwis 84 per cent, Meningrida 88 per cent, Mornington Island 78 per cent, Yarrabah 76 per cent, Palm Island 74 per cent, Leonora 79 per cent. Now, Order. the the, the, pri the Prime fact is, time it did not get has concluded.